Hi everyone and welcome to the next video in the pre-education series. This one's going to be pretty quick. What I really want to do is tell you the truth about getting into medical school. We all know that applying to medical school and especially getting into medical school can be really challenging. Thankfully, there are tons of people out there, especially the great people here at Med School Coach, who are there to help you and guide you through the process and hopefully guide you all the way through to an acceptance. However, now that I've been through the process, gone through it from start to finish, and I'm now getting ready to start medical school, I realized a harsh truth that no one had really ever explained to me before. And had I not gone through it, I don't think anyone would have been able to explain it to me. So what is this harsh truth? that I realized. The truth is, even if you have the perfect stats and you think that you're a shoe in for any particular medical school, sometimes you still won't get in. And that's not to say that I had the perfect stats. Mine were far from it. But there were schools that I applied to that were in my appropriate range. They weren't reach schools. They weren't schools that my metrics were far above. They were right within my range. And I thought that my stats would, would get me in. I thought, why not? I, I'm in the range and that I seem like a competitive applicant for this particular school. And in, it, in particular, those were some of my home schools, my state schools. And I thought, great, like I'm applying to 17 schools altogether. And I think that these schools in my area, especially because I'm in state and I've been around here, I think that I should be able to get through at least on those if all else fails. On the other hand, the other side of the spectrum, I had a couple of REACH schools on my list, Harvard Medical School being one of them. My stats were not within range for Harvard Medical School and that school felt like light years away, like a pipe dream for me. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you might know that the outcome was the opposite of what I expected. I got rejected or put on hold by a good number of schools that were local and in my area that I thought I was a shoe in for but I did get into Harvard Medical School, despite my metrics not matching up with what they advertised. This seemed to be happening to a lot of students across all walks of life that I had known and who are applying at the same time as me in this cycle. There were students who I thought were way more competitive applicants than me, who had killer stats or the same stats as me, who applied to the same number of schools and simply didn't get in anywhere. And I think it brought to light this realization for me that on top of the fact that this past cycle was an unprecedented cycle, unlike anyone we've ever seen before, the landscape of the medical school application process is changing. And it had been changing incrementally over the past couple of years, but the COVID-19 pandemic allowed it to go that much faster. And now, rather than solely relying on your MCAT and your GPA and your perfect list of extracurriculars, you're having to rely more on the Casper exam, the snapshot, duet, and other situational judgment tests that are less about the numbers and more about whether or not your core values aligned with those of the schools that you're applying to. In my eyes, that's the only thing that makes sense for me in terms of how I got accepted into the schools that I did because my metrics were very average. And I think, although the, the cycle ended up going positively for me, it still hurt to get rejections from schools that I thought I was a good fit for. And once I realized that it's not all about those metrics anymore, it really helped ease the pains of rejection that I had felt along the medical school application process. Getting into Harvard Medical School, that was the last school that accepted me. So just prior to that, I was really feeling the hurt from other schools. I had gotten some acceptances as well, but I was still in my feelings about the rejections. And once I realized, holy crap, this school that I thought was so far out of my reach just accepted me, that doesn't make any sense. I got rejected by schools that were lower ranked on US scales and things like that. What, how is this making sense? That's when it clicked for me. My metrics, my MCAT score, my GPA, while they are definitely important and they still should be prioritized, there's a little bit more than meets the eye in the future of the medical school application process. And I'm not an admissions advisor or anything like that. This is just speaking from experience, from mine and from those of my friends. The numbers aren't gonna carry you all the way anymore. So it's time to look inward 
and think about what else you can bring to the table. See you in the next one. Thank you.